channel my name is Elena and if you're interested in fashion related content and just random vlogs then you should subscribe down below in today's video I'm actually doing sweaty girl hairstyles as you can see by the title love doing my hair in different ways like whether even if it's just like a braid adding a scarf to it doing a ponytail but half of it is in a claw clip for volume I wanted to do this video where I do sweaty girl hairstyles because I am a sweater I'm a big sweater and in the summertime, I especially love to do my hair with different accessories and in different ways because I feel like summer outfits are very easy to put together. They're very light. I feel like with those outfits, it can be a little hard to accessorize. And I feel like one way to accessorize those summer outfits is with your hair. But at the same time, for me personally, it is so hot out. I want my hair out of my face, off my neck, but I don't want to just throw it up in some little ugly number like this or just a regular slicked back pony or anything like that like I like to get a little creative with it so I have eight different hairstyles I'm going to show you in this video so I have multiple hair accessories I'm going to be using that I'll, sh that I'll be showing you from scarves bandanas scrunchies claw clips little elastics one thing I want to show you is in a lot of these hairstyles I'm going to be using a uh, paste I use the redkin brand I believe I got it from an Ulta you couldn't tell I've always been a frizzy girl no matter what even in the dead of winter I have frizzy hair whenever I do slick pack anything I always use a brush like this also as you can see my hair is disgusting so a lot of the hairstyles I'm going to be showing you if not every single one of them work pretty well when your hair is disgusting but you're like oh I'll wash it tonight I don't have time or oh tomorrow's the wash day but it's still really gross today you know what I'm saying so this also works for them I do have some scalp showing when I do the half up half down to start this look to put the scarf and tie it in and all I have to say to that is <laughs> this is a really fun cute look I think it's just a really pretty way to elevate it this look in the summer with like a white sundress would be really really pretty second hairstyle I'm going to do is probably the easiest one to do it's just a slicked back bun but with an oversized scrunchie this is a trend i have been seeing a lot lately this is not the biggest scrunchie i have but it is fairly thick and it has this gorgeous pattern on it doing this look for work I just want it in a slicked back bun just like this and I love adding the scrunchie especially because this one is patterned as a little accessory just makes it feel more fun and spicy so the third look I have described as two French braids so two French braids tied off here into a twisted bun kind of like this with half of the hair like the hair that I clipped here a part of it or a quarter of that like kind of sticking up I feel like this third look, it's like the best way to get all of your hair out of your way. It's given limited to or something, I don't know. I think this looks a little bit cuter in the back than it does up front. I really love incorporating claw clips. So the fourth look is just a bandana in the hair and then two braids with bows. So I have a ton of bandanas. That's one way I like accessorizing my hair is with bandanas and they really do come in handy. This Harley Davidson bandana, I think it is so cool. One cute way 
to kind of spice up the look is at the end of both braids adding uh, ribbon. I thought this purple kind of matched some of the purple in the bandana. I think this hairstyle is so cute. I absolutely love it. I think it's fairly simple and I think the added touches of the bows kind of makes it look like a mix of girly and then the bandana for me it's just like slightly kind of tomboyish. And one thing about bandanas for me personally, I, they're always falling off of my head. Headbands are too. So I showed you and I don't know if it was so clear but what I do is I kind of make like a flap on the inside of the part of the bandana or the side of the bandana that's going to go on my head and I kind of move it all forward and bobby pin it in two different places up here. The fifth hairstyle is a slicked back pony with half of a claw clip. For the fifth hairstyle, it's a slicked back ponytail, but half of it gets put up into a claw clip to kind of give it some volume. Some kind of semi-formal event during the summer. I feel like this is a great way to get your hair to your face, but it still, to me, looks very pretty. And it makes your hair kind of look longer in a slicked back pony. It's a little bit more elegant than just a regular ponytail. Now for me, I feel like this hairstyle would work best if you have like two day curls or, or two day blowout or something like that because obviously my hair is disgusting. The sixth hairstyle I'm doing is a slicked back ponytail as well, but it's going to be two braids of the pony and then tied off at the end together. Now for this, like I would go without the bow, but I kind of want to add it as an access ex extra accessory to kind of hide the hair tie. And instead of doing just one slicked back braid, which I often do, doing two is kind of fun. You can also just have them separated and not tie together. The next one is two kind of like space buns with claw clips. I saw this one on Pinterest and I saw this person do it with butterfly clips, which I have just in two different colors. I like it. I feel like I like it about other people. I used to do the bobble ponies a lot when I snowboard. This past snowboarding season, I really just stuck to braids, but I used to do the bobbles and they were fun, but I feel like they didn't keep my hair intact while snowboarding. I feel like it's a fun way to do ponytails, but do them as a bobble. And I saw it on Pinterest, but a girl did um, braids go like half up, half down on both sides of a braid going into a bobble. Last hairstyle. Woo! This one could have been done a lot better. I'm not gonna lie to you, my arms were getting tired at the end. The bobbles, the bubbles, the whatever. Wait, bobble braid or bubble braid? Did I say bobble this whole time? I'm gonna say bubble. They could bubble a little bit more. They're kinda, kinda a little off. I feel like it's maybe because of the braid part, I've added too much hair. I like this look, I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's just cute. Fun, it's sporty, it's cute. This was the last look, this was the eighth hairstyle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely subscribe down below. My last video I uploaded was sweaty girl summer outfits. So these kind of coincide. You can do these hairstyles with those outfit ideas. So check out that video and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.